about a month to a month and a half ago, I uploaded a video of me installing some cabinets in a kitchen that I was remodeling. They're white kitchen cabinets, and I used some tools that people haven't seen before. And there was a lot of questions about, what are those tools? Hey, what's that clamp thing? These things. I'm going to show you how these things work and how it makes installing cabinets extremely easy. Now they're not necessary. I've installed dozens of kitchens without these, but these make it real easy to install them with less effort and to get better results. Another tool that I was using that got a lot of questions are what are those poles? What are these things? And this one here is my first first one ever. It is the original third hand and my dad got me this oh maybe five or six years ago. 150 pound load capacity. Um, the design has changed a little bit. This one here is a brand new one. I have four brand new ones and one old one now. I also have these other poles, the blue poles. Some of you who have watched all my videos know about the blue poles. Blue poles are going in the trash and they're getting replaced by these. Blue poles were Harbor Freight and they were only used for holding up plastic, plastic walls to create a dust wall. These are now sold by Fast Cap. I have a feeling Nothing on this one says fast cap, but it's it's identical, nearly identical to this new one here. And it even still says the original third hand. So I'm guessing fast cap bought this company. A four foot level, you want your cabinets plumb and level, you're gonna need a level. It's also used as a straight edge for lining them up uh, vertically with the base cabinets. The next thing you're gonna need, is a screw gun. You have to have a drill. You have to pre-drill and screw these face frames together. And you gotta, you gotta pre-drill because you don't want to split out the face frames and you don't want your screw driving off and coming out the front of the cabinet. Obviously you're gonna need some drill bits with that drill. Another controversial topic in cabinet installation is the screws. Some cabinet companies will send out screws installation screws with their cabinets. They have a large washer head on it. It doesn't actually have a, a loose washer, but it just has a big head on it. Um, that's great. You can also buy those too. But for the longest time, people were just using wood screws. These cabinets here, all the cabinets in this workshop and most of the cabinets out there in your house are just screwed to the wall with nothing more than three inch wood screws. I'm using two and a half because I don't have drywall up. Now there's another option. Something that I've always used are these little guys. I'm going to take them out and show you what they do. They're called finishing washers. You can see how they work there. They just drop down and they give a bigger footprint for when you screw these through the cabinet and into your stud. A few more things wood shims. These things make getting your cabinets perfectly plumb. Helps you kind of just get everything in, in the precise position. I think we're, we're at the end. The last tool that makes installing cabinets super easy is a self-leveling laser. It's a giant laser beam. <laughs> is it necessary? I've installed more kitchen cabinets without a laser than I have with a laser. Man, does it make things super easy when you have this self-leveling laser. This one here, I think it's under $100. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs, but I will look it up and put links to all these tools in the description below. Now, before I start putting cabinets on the walls, I always remove the shelves and the doors. Reason I do that is I just can't take the risk of digging a door they're much easier to handle, especially when you work by yourself, like I do. So I take the shelves out, take the doors off, set them aside, make sure that they're not gonna fall over, and it makes handling these big wooden boxes much easier. First thing you're going to want to do is get set up. You got your cabinet right where you want to put it up. You got your stick ready to go, uh, kind of in position. 
we can this guy here this little arm this little handle you squeeze that and it makes that thing go out another thing you're going to want is your your screws ready your drill ready your level ready all within reach for this demonstration i already have the door taken off the cabinet that this cabinet is going up to you need this door off so that you can clamp them together and screw them together and also use those those little red clamps which reminds me i gotta go grab piece of cake <laughs> uh, you don't want to leave the room but it will stay there because it's leaning up against either the wall or the previous cabinet and it's really easy to get these things dialed in here's your red clamp get, oop, I want to knock it down just hooks right over the frames and you start tightening it up loosely so now we just got them barely touching and we're gonna tighten this one in starting to line up now you can snug that down and just give them a little the frames just a little push and now you can kind of cinch them down no need to go overboard the the screws are going to really suck these together so i've pre-drilled through the frame just like that i'm going to screw it together i always screw the face frames together before i screw the cabinet to the wall this little gap here is just because this cabinet is chipped we're just going to move our way up i'm going to do three actually sometimes you can even do four depending on how they're they're meeting up the two cabinet not sure if it shows on camera but we're tight here we're tight at the top and we've got a gap there in the middle that gap this little clamp device does more than just clamp these together uh, i don't use really use this other option don't have a real good reason why but I just don't this makes it dialing this in so easy you still may have to give a little tweak it a little bit with your hands to get it just perfect there's this little window here and that is for pre-drilling straight in at the, the tightest point where it's clamped together go straight in like that but I already have some holes drilled in here The next most common question in that video, which was a little surprising to me, because it is the the first most basic skill a homeowner needs, and that is how do you find the stud? How do you know where the studs are? Well, I just tap on the wall, and in a lot of my videos where it's sped up, you hear me go tap, 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 tap. so you can just tell where the tone changes when you're tapping on the wall. Um, I also have a stud finder. These can be frustrating, so don't cheap out and get a cheap one because those of you who have used a stud finder know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. But once you get yours dialed in and it's got a good fresh battery, you can get it figured out. Next thing, I still have not tested this thing out. This is called the Wallabot. Wallabot. And it comes with two different things to hook it to your phone. And it's supposed to be basically a little sonar device that you put up on your wall it has mixed reviews out there on the internet and I've had it for about two months maybe longer three months and well I don't have troubles finding studs so that's why I haven't started using it or made that video but look for a video in the future on the Wallabot we'll get it handyman tested maybe it'll be handyman approved but uh, I am very curious to see if this thing works like the promotional videos show it you've used whatever means 
works for you. Tapping on the wall, a stud finder, a sonar device, or you just drilled some holes below where the base cabinets are going to go to find where you start drilling into wood. You found your stud. You can transfer that line up. You can put a level on the wall to run a plumb line. What you're going to do is measure from the inside lip of this cabinet to the center of the stud. And I'm about 11 and 3 quarter inches. Now you take your 11 and 3 quarter inches, put the tape measure up against the inside edge of the cabinet, and you can make your mark. I usually pre-drill. 3 inch screws is standard when you have drywall. These are 2 and a half inch screws. I don't have drywall. Here's the box of screws that I'm using. General purpose wood screws. You see they got the cabinets right on the box. This is the most common screw used to install cabinets. Hope that answers some of your questions on how the clamps work and how the red poles work. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments section down below. Give the video a like, it really helps the channel's growth. It's weird. Likes and comments is what really promotes and makes, makes these videos grow in popularity. Thank you.